how could we not hear from the children and youth? You have the floor now. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm Kanchan Amatya representing major group of children and youth. Distinguished delegates, our planet is unfortunately at a crossroad. A number of small island developing states are expected to be underwater within the next 15 years. As I speak here today, my friend from Maldives is forced to migrate to an unknown land because of rising sea levels. Just as their lands are washing away, so are their cultures and the future of the new generation of children and youth. Moderator, youth and children in small island developing states face special needs and special challenges as a result of its remoteness, susceptibility to climate change, and prevalence of natural disasters. Issues pertaining to youth and children like unemployment, poverty, food insecurity, and violence grow along with the issues of climate change. To ensure implementation of the Samoa pathway and the post-2015 goals in its truest sense, major group of children and youth reiterate that children and youth, especially girls, youth with disabilities, youth belonging to rural indigenous groups and outer islands, youth of diverse sexual orientation, gender identity, and marginalized population must be recognized as equal partners and stakeholders. Developed countries, we urge you to mitigate now and forge global partnerships to assist SIDS without the same financial resources. SIDS member states, we also urge you to address issues affecting youths like gender inequality and unemployment by empowering women and girls and establishing decent work opportunities for all the youth. We, the children and youth, also reiterate importance of education with a focus on fostering entrepreneurship, investment, and innovation. World leaders, let's stop pretending that the Marshall Islands, Tavalu, Maldives do not exist. Let's stop pretending that the typhoon in Haiti and floods of Guyana and all the hurricanes, earthquakes, and tidal waves that has claimed lives of thousands of people did not take place. It is a real threat, not just to the environment, but also to our people. And it is women, it is youth, and it is children and SIDS who bear the brunt of it. Today, young people present here, representing major group of children and youth, are hoping to find fair and ambitious deal for our future generation. I challenge all the leaders here to work with us in transforming the Samoa Pathway vision into action. We all have a moral, social, and economic obligation to build resilience of small island developing states by 2030. We have one climate, one future, and one last chance. Let's work together. I would like to thank the representative of the children and youth for your unusual vigor and drive and for inspiring and pushing us to even greater efforts. Thank you once again.